be, I cry because, you know, I wasn't there at the game that night and I didn't get to see him or to tell him that I love him or to hold his hand. So it was, um, it's kind of hard. I think that's the biggest thing that I, um, excuse me. Yvonne Rouse lost her son, Ronald Rouse, during a high school football game in 2012. Rouse was in his final year of high school in Hartsville, South Carolina. The 18-year-old football player died after collapsing twice during a home game against Crestwood. The cause of death, HCM, a heart condition which African-American male athletes are particularly susceptible to. Rouse's parents filed a wrongful death lawsuit that ultimately led to the introduction of South Carolina House Bill 3265 in 2014. This piece of legislature is also known as the Ronald Rouse Bill, and it requires CPR training as part of a comprehensive health education program for high school students. I think it's an excellent uh, approach to train all high school students in CPR Clinical professor at the University of South Carolina, Dr. Stephanie Burgess, says her only concern is how this program will be funded. Because somebody has to purchase the curriculum, somebody has to purchase the supplies. The Senate had the same concern and amended the bill, adding that school districts will coordinate with entities that already have the experience and necessary equipment for the instruction of CPR. Training may also be administered virtually through free online videos provided by the American Red Cross, the American Heart Association, or another nationally recognized instructional program. We didn't want to pass a mandate on to the school districts that they didn't have money for. Senator Martin says the training will be done primarily through volunteers from local fire departments and the American Red Cross. And that's what they're all about, saving lives. This version of the Ronald Rouse bill was adopted last week and it is awaiting a signature from Governor Nikki Haley. As for Dr. Burgess, she ultimately calls the bill a step in the right direction. So I think it's a good policy, because I think everybody should learn CPR, and, and I think it's a great thing to learn in high school. I mean, that's actually a useful skill that a kid can learn in high school that they can use if they ever have to the rest of their life. She says that many health problems in this state are preventable by education and initiative. We need to emphasize wellness um, and prevention, you know, across the board, and that needs to be a cultural shift. And in Ronald Rouse's memory, South Carolina began the shift. Renee Cooper, Carolina News.